Y'all, I hoarded my car. Actually, both my cars. <laughs> So I need to drive my minivan today because I'm headed on over to the old house. I'm gonna do some more work over there and I'm meeting some contractors. And I have two cars. Both of them are really old and have had a lot of mechanical problems. By the way, you're just gonna have to excuse the sound of my chicks. I've got them in a little brooder inside here. And like many hoarders, I've even accumulated cars. There's only one driver in this household and I have two cars. The minivan is for hauling stuff. The Volvo gets much better gas mileage. Both of them are 2009s. Um, maybe at some point I'll be able to upgrade to a better car, but my budget hasn't allowed. I always owned the minivan when I was raising children and then earlier this year when my wonderful, wonderful grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, she gave me her Volvo and voluntarily said I shouldn't be driving anymore. So since that gets much better gas mileage, I drive that around town to take my kids to school. They're lucky enough to be in in-person school. <laughs> the chicks are making so much noise. But I have a problem because I've basically hoarded the minivan and I need to try to get it cleared out. And that's what I do. Any space that's available to me, I basically start to fill it. And I've just learned this about myself. And so I'm going to go see if I can get the minivan started. Now, I want to drive it. I waited so long with it hoarded with furniture and other junk that the battery's dead. I'm going to try to jump start it. See if I can drive it today. I really need the van instead of my little Volvo. Wish me luck. Don't mind my chickens. They're noisy. Is on a Volvo. Found it. Oh, I think this is a two hand job. Hold on. All right. Let's see if I can do this. I'm jumping a big car with a little car. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The chickens are wishing me luck. And you car people are probably laughing at me now because <laughs> the battery for a Volvo is in the trunk and my trunk is hoarded. Let's see what we can do here. Oh boy. This car is pretty new to me and I just remember now that the battery's here in the trunk of a Volvo and of course, I filled it with stuff. All right, I'm gonna go Google and try to figure out how to access this thing. So I don't even remember where it is. Okay, so that's great. So the internet tells me that all I have to do to access the battery in my older Volvo sedan is just open up the trunk and pop up the floor hatch. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Unless you're a hoarder. So, because of my time constraints, this actually means that I cannot drive the car I need to drive today. I am going to have to close the vehicle up and um, drive the smaller car, which is really not good because I need the big van at my old house, the one that I'm trying to get ready to sell. I need to make trips to Home Depot and Lowe's and doing that in a little... Uh, I guess 12 year old Volvo sedan just isn't working that well, especially because, yeah, we may have gotten some baby chicks and I'm having to bring them back and forth with me in their big old brooder. 
So please wish me luck as I figure out how in the next couple of days to unhoard both of my vehicles because I need to unhoard the trunk of the Volvo in order to jumpstart the minivan and I need to unhoard the minivan so I can use it to haul stuff. And this is why being a hoarder is such a vicious cycle because once you hoard one space, all your other spaces become dysfunctional and then you can't get the jobs done that you need to get done and it's self-perpetuating. So I'll give you an update.